Well, it was cold this morning, real cold. I stayed in my sleeping bag for a little bit to stay warm. Finally got up, made me some coffee. Got me a little snack to eat. Now I'm headed up uh, Bradley Fork Trail, which is gravel road pretty much. But uh, we'll go ahead up here and see if we can catch some fish. I'm gonna walk for a ways and get away from the campground and just take in the scenery and try to catch some fish in a little bit. All right, I walked up in here about a mile, give or take some. And I got a real pretty hole here I'm gonna fish. Just gonna start here and start working my way up the creek. Looks like it's gonna be pretty rugged, so may have to get out and hit the trail and go around some of this stuff, I don't know. But, uh, But it look, this right here is a really good hole. I'm gonna start off tight lining this morning, see if I can do anything. starting to figure them out a little bit just called me a rainbow not long after I caught that brook trout we'll get him back in there maybe it's gonna pick up oh goodness don't want to see me without my hat glare might be too much all right well the fishing never picked up for me this morning so uh I decided to come back and I went to town and got uh, my truck filled up with gas, getting ready for the trip home tomorrow. Stopped by the Sugar Land or the O'Connell Lutte Visitor Center. Picked up a sticker. I always try to get a sticker for my camper here. Uh, this is the only one they had that had anything to do with uh, my trip down here, which was the O'Connell Lutte. So. We're going to stick it on the wall. I used to stick them on the door all the time, but uh, took the door off. And I don't want to do that again because uh, I may change the doors again. Who knows? So I'm going to start putting them on the wall. And I'm going to put them right here on that little wall, little piece of stainless steel right there. I think that's a good place to put them for uh, commemorating each trip. I get a sticker if they have them. Well, I didn't do good on the Bradley Fork this morning, so I come back to camp and went to town, filled my truck up with gas, getting ready for the trip home tomorrow. Um, then the rain clouds moved in, so I'm just doing a little fishing here next to camp. That way, if a big rainstorm comes through, I'll be able to get back to camp and get dry. Got my raincoat on, waiter, so I should stay fairly dry if it comes a downpour. But I'm going to sit here and see if I can catch any on this old kind of lefty right above the campground. There's one. Ooh, this feels like a good one. my best trout since I've been down here. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that rainbow. That's my best fish since I've been down here. On <laughs> a cloudy, rainy day. Choo -choo. A good fish. Get him back in there. I 
at least I'm finally catching some fish. This morning it was pretty slow for me. I only caught just a few fish, two fish, three fish, something like that. Now uh, I've caught a couple and uh, missed a couple. Well, I did not have my camera on when I hooked this dude, but got a nice little brown here. I don't call a lucky brown. Should have came out here this morning, I believe. Been better off. Got this one double hook. He ate that fly. Oh, good. And the one that one in their tail wasn't holding it. Pretty little butter stick. Look at that. Golden brown. Beautiful little fish. Mm. There he is again. Another one. I was almost put my fishing rods away after this morning. I didn't do any good. I come over here, switch crates, using basically the same setup I had over there this morning. I went through a lot more flies over there before I started catching fish. I already caught a couple browns. Now I caught a couple rainbows. And there he is. There we go. A bit of cloud cover rain seemed to either wake the fish up or maybe it's just the fact that I changed water. I'm gonna make this the last hole I fish and then I'm gonna head back to camp and start tearing down so I can leave in the morning. Been a good trip. I've caught plenty of fish and enjoyed myself being outside in the great outdoors. Well folks I think I'm gonna call it quits. It's uh, about six o'clock. I'm leaving out in the morning and head back home. I've had a good few days here uh, fishing in the Smokies. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you want to see more adventures like this in the future, subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post new videos.